So we are going to um, talk with you today about um, R, which has already been something that has been uh, uh, talked about quite a bit. And the way we're uh, framing our conversation really is to think about the idea of raising awareness and how um, it's been kind of a, a large issue for us where we are. Um, and so we wanted to kind of give you our perspective and um, to talk about some of the some of the ways that we can start doing this. Um, so we're going to start off talking about uh, the University of Houston campus culture and some of the research initiatives. Um, we'll also uh, dive into some of our roles and, and project experiences and acknowledge some of the wealth of knowledge that are in our uh, data science and our, our library communities. Um, and then talk about how we kind of come from our, our world into the world that we're in currently and start to, to bridge gaps and bring a, a more of a collective conversation to the fore with the people that we are um, often interacting with um, so that we're kind of creating new cultures. Um, so we will also mention about um, continuing the conversation from here. And so this is hopefully a conversation starter and that uh, Taylor's gonna start us off. Thank you, Reed. Uh, so, University of Houston is, in brief, a uh, big public R1 that is increasingly focused on research expenditures and outputs uh, and evaluating the impact of those outputs. UH as an institution ranks as the second most demographically diverse in the U.S. This diversity carries through to both student and faculty research assistance needs with our constituents arriving at UH from a broad range of backgrounds and with differing, differing sets of experiences and languages um, and levels of exposure to, as well as comfort with uh, methodological approaches and general research practices. As we mentioned, UH has become increasingly research driven and oriented over the past decade. The current initiative is called 50 and 5 and is a campus-wide campaign to exceed by 50% a range of benchmarks in research production over the next five years. There are benchmarks to meet and surpass in terms of research expenditures, number of publications, fellowship and grant applications, and so on and so forth. So between a highly uneven research community and pressure to meet certain benchmarks, our unit in the libraries has been building uh, shared understandings, workflows, and service capacities around open science and sharing practices that we believe can only help researchers in their departments meet these new standards. In order to build out from the limited services that uh, Reed and myself and our colleagues can provide in these areas, we're focusing on furthering internal discussions with our library colleagues about what we talk about when we say open science, reproducibility, replication, executable, and so on. And what practices, protocols, and frameworks these concepts adhere to, as well as how they can relate and further the work that our colleagues are already doing. A campus limitation is the fact that the libraries has not historically played a partnership role for researchers. So we undertake similar conversations with individual researchers or teams often to find out what, if anything, these concepts and practices mean in the context of their work. The process of building trust among researchers and thereby, at least we hope, changing their perception of the libraries can only be done one conversation at a time. As we become more active partners with certain researchers, we have gotten into the habit of asking them questions that slowly help give us a stronger sense of the research culture within their lab, department, or college. It's in this way that we can get some valuable and practical information about common practices and attitudes towards certain tools and platforms and so forth. But there's plenty we're having a hard time ascertaining. We do know there are pockets of our activity happening in most colleges at UH, in labs and other communities, and R is taught to students at lower and higher level courses in many domains. Since R is the most widely known programming language among library staff, this makes it a natural focal, like focal point from which we can design strategies for incorporating broad open science concepts into our service offering, offerings, such as workshops on R, 
and begin conversations around reproducibility in consultation settings, especially where R is the language being used. My, main, my work mainly takes place in and through the Digital Research Commons, which is a research lab based in our main library dedicated to fostering a digital research culture through skills workshops and training into the campus community and funding and partnering on research projects on a calendar year basis. These projects are mainly situated in the humanities and social sciences, where the concern of reproducibility as it's generally understood in health sciences isn't typically present but we mandate that any library funded research output is made available open access, unless there are legitimate reasons to limit or embargo them. And this uh, includes underlying raw data, metadata and readme files, code books, and accompanying documentation, inputs, and parameters, and, and all the, the guts of each project. All of this is highly contextual and unique to each project but this offers a prime opportunity to engage researchers in open science practices from an early stage in the given project and talking about the value for them and for others of working and sharing in a more open way than they might be accustomed to. These conversations are part of every consultation and project team meeting and we highly encourage all of our partners to attend certain workshops including 90-minute sessions on project design and management as well as open scholarly practices so basic expectations from conception to publication and beyond are well established. And there's a forum for researchers and librarians to surface their questions, their assumptions, their frustrations around these issues uh, earlier rather than later in the process. I will kick things back to Reed. Okay. And so um, kind of taking this uh, further into the library, um, as a, as a colleague of Taylor's, I, I'm working with the research data management um, consultations, um, work with um, support for sharing. Um, I'm the liaison to our data repository, which is, um, is part of the Texas Data Repository. It's a dataverse. And um, so one of the, the major uh, things that I'm currently working on, I've been here about nine months, and, and raising awareness is kind of my number one uh, issue um, is the need we know is out there, it's finding, um, getting the people to us. And so um, a lot of the work I also do is in supporting uh, the librarians um, in their liaison roles, um, do a lot of workshops and an embedded training, um, and continuing to connect with resources that are available around the campus. And I think one of the things that I've noticed um, is the significant um, requests for R, um, especially at the beginner level. Um, so this is consistently coming to the fore. So one of the things we wanted to acknowledge is the myriad efforts across our communities where people are already um, using R as a reproducible, um, a tool for reproducibility uh, in so many different ways, whether it's um, you know, introductory courses or whether it's integrations into data databases, dataverse, um, or the, the simple idea that you can use an art project to, um, to in effect, capture um, the work that you're doing in one bundle. Uh, so we know that there's many more of those, and, and, and please, if there are things that you would like to share with us, um, and feel free to put those in the notes or send us an email. Um, as we think about some of the things that we um, that we know about, things that we've seen, participated in, uh, we think about potential use cases for ourselves going forward and some scenarios. And thinking about this, looking across um, our research life cycle where we do um, meet people at different points within their, um, say, re research process or their learning process. So um, for myself, one of the things is in these introduction to our classes, um, especially this is oftentimes uh, incorporated as a guest speaker and in say like an undergraduate economics class. In this case, you can incorporate um, the, the understanding of the art project and it starts to open the doors for those conversations about what reproducibility actually means in a very small, planting that very small seed early on. Um, I think somebody mentioned that um, with the undergraduates um, at the beginning of, the, of our sessions today. Um, 
And then there are other points, and one of the examples is um, the R for Open Science integration as part of the Dataverse. This is something that we can begin introducing to folks at the point in time where they're looking to share their data. Um, additionally, um, strengthening our own knowledge of packages and utilities is really going to help us uh, work with the folks um, as they come to the DRC and uh, as, in general as we work with them in their consultations and projects. So these are just three examples of uh, finding that holistic um, use of this tool. So this diagram is, is really kind of speaking to what we'd like to kind of uh, take, have you take away from our discussion today is that we really see um, a, a, a large gap between some of the, the very um, amazing and wonderful strides that folks are taking in our different communities where we have this passion and we have these tools and we have this language in contrast with our research communities, which have their own language perspectives and, and of course disciplinary needs, as well as this factor of the campus goals and coming together to create those shared cultures of practice, really rely on learning what language we all can speak together. And so we can say, you know, with R, you know, R is so popular among researchers, R is so popular among those who are proponents of reproducibility, R is something that we can kind of work with as a shared language to start talking about some of these things. Um, so at that time, as we start to build those languages, we start to um, you know, align better with understanding what researchers are doing um, and consistently start to build some trust um, over time. And so I think with the DRC, that's um, something that definitely happens in those, um, in that, that, those discussions, in those, um, those sessions with the projects, um, and would like to carry that through looking at the holistic picture of the research services as well, where we start to think more broadly about um, the disciplinary needs. And so, our next steps, we are, this is the conversation that we're starting at our <laughs> university right now. Um, and so we're, we're doing a lot of piloting and program, program planning. Um, but what we hope to do is to document and share these experiences where we are seeing relevance that's created across uh, campus. Um, we'd like to continue to have scholarly community conversations. And so this um, opens the door to uh, thoughts and suggestions from you all. So we're really interested to hear um, your experiences and to talk further. Thank you very much.